Cool, change that. Fast. So I told you about China. China's harder. Israel's not as hard. So Israel is number three for unicorns. US, China, Israel. Israel has seven million people. That's like one ring of Beijing, right? Like one little loop of Beijing has the third most unicorns on earth. They're making real stuff, and so is China. The problem with China, and I appreciate the valuation, my wife's a public accountant as a CPA, you can't value or understand what's happening in China. I think they're overvalued by 50%, minimum. I bet half of those are bullshit. Because we can't tell. You can't validate what's happening in China. You can't. No banker, no investor, no government, none of us really know. So maybe they're number two, maybe they're number 12. But the problem is, underestimating, even if it's a bubble and you don't know, what's happening in China or Israel, because the engineering talent is serious. The volume and output of engineering talent is incredible. So for my particular opinion on China, is don't get hung up in all the headlines and the stats. I literally discount by 50% right away. And even my investor friends that are in China with funds, they're scared, they're Chinese. And they're investing in China and they're like, I don't know, you know, like they, they look at them, they're like, maybe? They really can't tell you definitively what's going on. The reason had another public company that was actually fraudulent in Hong Kong last week. A publicly listed company that was cooking the books. Think how crazy that is. They got listed. And shit was, it was all bullshit. Like this happens. So you just gotta look through those details. I wouldn't buy in just to those headlines. You have to dig below a little bit. I really don't know how you validate the whole like bubble thing or the unicorn thing in China. It's really hard.